Here's an aha toppable keyboard. And you're watching this video because you probably want to make yours sound good. You guys might remember I made a video like this before on my RK61. Well, I figured out how to lube the switches, lube the stabs, banding mod the stabs without desoldering. Here's everything you'll need. You'll need your not hot toppable keyboard. In my case, it's the RK61. Next, you'll need a keycap puller, tweezers. Next is lube. In my case, it's Kytox 205 grade zero. Band-aids are made of fabric. And the stem holder is optional. Let's get into lubing the switches. First, you want to take off the keycap. Then you want to get your lube and brush and put some lube on the brush. Then you want to take your stem holder and push down on the switch. Then you just want to shove the lube in. And yes, it works. At least it did for me. Then you want to repeat that for all the switches. After you're done with lubing your switches, which probably took a long time, let me teach you how to lube the stabs. Stabilizers are used for the bigger keys on the keyboard. For example, the left shift, spacebar, right shift, enter, and backspace. With a hot swap keyboard, you'd be able to take them out and lube them easily. But with a not hot swappable keyboard, it's a little bit different, especially because we're doing it without desoldering. First, you want to take off the keycaps on the left shift, spacebar, right shift, enter, and backspace. When you take off the keycap, you'll see the stabilizers. You want to grab your lube, brush, and stem holder. With the stem holder, pull the stem up and start lubing. And repeat for all of the stabilizers. Now that we're done lubing the stabilizers, now it's time to band-aid mod. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on a different not hot swappable keyboard because I already did all these mods on my RK61. The things you'll need are band-aids, tweezers, and scissors. You want to pull the stabilizers up by pushing on the little flap and pulling up. Then you want to get your band-aid and cut a little piece something like this. Then you want to pull the stabilizer up and then put in the band-aid something like this. Putting the band-aid there creates less rattle in the stabilizer. At the end, it should look something like this, and repeat this for all the stabilizers. Let me know in the comments down below if this helped, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And with that said, have a great rest of your day.